Okay, so we are recording. And the uh the middle notice is the one that you're going with. And actually at this time the other notice would still be up there because this is taking place three days previously to the uh, other adventure. The, the catacombs? The, uh, the Lonely Tower, the Tower of Waiting, uh, was on the 22nd, and this is on the 9th. I guess three days later. Um, real quick, Lehman, because I, I wasn't sure how it worked. I bought a thread and needle. Is there another place where you just sell thread? Or, like, if I want to repair my quilted armor? I actually have thread and needle, but not just thread. That's what I saw. <laughs> but that's in the normal gear, like right. so I kinda took that as a small sewing kit basically. But is where is uh where exactly is um materials listed? Materials that, the only the thread end? that they have is uh like gold thread. Oh, yeah, no. Everything else is like uh the actual cloth. I am not sewing that. <laughs> sewing up my armor with gold thread. I would just say that it's a spool of thread that has a needle that comes with it. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> and then... So is clothing where cloth is, or is it in a place... Like, I see your metals and I see your precious stones. It's right. Oh, what's that? It is the page after that. Cloth per square yard or meter. Gotcha. Gotcha. And what would the armor? Would that just be linen? The cloth armor? Uh, I would say linen or wool. Probably, if you wanted to do padded, you would need, uh, like, well, th they actually say, if you look at the, before I just start making stuff up, um, if you look at cloth armor, it requires uh, a wool and linen two by two both, because you're kind of sewing the two together. Okay. On page. As it. And oh, that's. I wasn't far enough. Okay. For a manufactured product. Yep. I just wanted to have some material on hand to make repairs to my armor. Right. Okay, so you are in Fallcrest on September the 19th of 2011 RS. And the four of you show up for caravan duty, caravan guard. The last few caravans had been attacked by the uh, Raz Raznor's bandits, and you had your other characters had dealt with him. So the uh, merchants are hoping that they will be able to successfully get a caravan to uh, Krazak Tor, which is the Dorv Dorvan Holt that you had freed from Raznor, with a stop at Winterhaven. And that is for there and back. Um, if things go uneventfully, it will pay 50 solidi. If things 
don't go uneventfully and you're actually you well that that also includes every time you cross over the river and fall crest there's some uh, money that is required they are paying for that uh, while you are stopped at winter haven uh, they will set you up with a place to stay in winter haven pay for your your food etc through Krasik for and back in addition to that, that sounds awesome because it, as it turns out I don't have a lot of, a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um they in in addition to that would be 50 solidi escorting the caravan um okay. if there oh. is oh. In, If there is a difficulty, bandits or anything of that nature, then you'll get hazard pay depending on how, you know, what the, the force was, how strong it is, etc. But it would be about, um, say, another, for, for an average, you know, what a, a caravan would normally face rasnor was not normal <laughs> yeah. so you know if you're, you're just attacked by a, a few brigands or some wild animals or something like that uh, hazard pay would be about 100 solidy in addition to the 50 so 150 total um but again if if it is a lot more or a lot less that might be changeable Go and this away. was each. Yes, this is each. There, uh, you, sure. you're you're not a group or anything, right? So it is all based off of you know who showed up. The a lot of people won't show up because the last few caravans have been waylaid and scattered, and people died, and they're just like, nope. All the all the idiots have already went on. The, you are the. <laughs> the next group that a lot of the towns the play. last group of idiots yes <laughs> <sighs> so no. we will and we're heading I'm sorry we're heading west right yes I'm moving you all to the Nintir Vale map hopefully you all can see that yep so if if you look you'll be going west along the King's Road and then Winter Haven is where there's kind of a fork. And then you'll uh, move north um, along up to near Lake Winter Mist, where that top uh, journal entry is, which is Krasak Tool. Um, just for my reference, <clears throat> there isn't any... Uh, problems with uh between the east and the west dwarves are there no no it's just that uh that they probably were a lot more connected it's just uh when nerath came in they uh kind of took over the whole middle area and that kind of broke them apart and then even after nerath fell it was because there was null invaders so right. they still kind of were kept separate. So it, it's, you know, more of that type of thing than feuding. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because I'm visiting my Western brothers. All right, man. I mean, this seems like... Like really cool, and I think we could do this. I yeah, I think uh, it should be a fine journey. <laughs> uh oh. That was a lot of laughing for nothing happening. <laughs> no, I'm just looking at my stats. Oh, dear. 
at least try to remember. I'm ugly as sin and have a personality to match. Ah, uh, but what about your character? <laughs> I love you too, Joe. I mean, that, it was right there. I couldn't pass that up. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember how to do it. Either. Okay, so the uh, the first day you get right about, and it might also be uh, different if you have a token. Yeah. So actually, I have a group. So what does the caravan consist of? It consists of okay, yes. So sorry, more details. The uh dwarven priest of Ray, which is the sun deity, the orc sun deity, um, is the one who has gathered both a the uh, the merchants and the caravan leader, the caravan master, is uh, Derek Tormel, human. And he is leading, let's see. Five wagons, uh, each is a pulled by a, a single horse, but they have, you know, various goods, um, a lot of food and stuff. If you remember, Winter Haven was getting to a point where they were starving. Um, it it helped that you were able to or your other. It was helpful that a group of adventurers, a group of of heroes were able to uh, reclaim Krasak Tor um, to to help with the food issue, but these merchants are hoping to uh, turn that negativity into a positive, lucrative venture. So Perfect. there are five horse-drawn wagons, five, uh, oh, what do I want to say, people driving the wagons. But there's also a, quite a few dwarf uh, refuge, refugees. One of the things when the dwarves were forced out of Krasak Tor some stayed in Winter Haven, but some went to Fallcrest, and then other ones had went all the way to Hammerfast, trying to uh, get help, which they were denied. But a lot of these dwarves are going back now that uh, Krasak Tor has, you know, it's been reclaimed. So. So there's about 14 of them. So there's like five wagons mostly laden with like food and stuff for repairs and things like that? Right. So if you, you might need to zoom in a little bit, but there's like a little clo head cloak thing, which is the, the default boundary. Is that us? Yes, and so the first, the first night you get about here, or first day travel. Gee, this is gonna be an easy job, guys. Um, <laughs> the oh. the <clears throat> most difficult part of the whole thing was uh, when they were paying the uh, the the merchants were having to pay the fee of crossing the bridge. <laughs> um, the, no matter how many times they're told, you know, it's a flat one solidity per person, five per wagon, no matter what, they're always trying to, you know, plead Haggle. away. <laughs> so 
that is basically what took the the most. It took time. like an hour, hour and a half, just right? To cross the bridge. My character is a troll. He's carrying a recurved longbow, and he looks like he's been dragged through five miles of bad road on his face. And he doesn't have much of a personality. So yes, let's go ahead and introduce uh, some characters. So that was uh, Katunk. Katunk. Ah. Hey guys, I'm Rexius, and I'm uh, you know I'm here to like uh, you know write some songs and uh, you know like uh, record the journey stuff like that. Maybe make an epic of this whole thing. It'd be cool. And and also assist when something goes wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, like, what's the chance of that kind of thing happening? Um, <laughs> well, so, uh, let us let us see how many left before us and how many failed. I he's think a, he's it is a, a high percentage. He's a twofling or a tiefling, and uh, and uh, he is like a, you know dressed more in like. A, like performing clothes, you know, it's got like a cape and some colors and stuff. Hey, Bob, do you have a visible it, weapon? Yeah, he's got a big old crossbow. Okay. Bob, can you type yeah. in your character's name in the? Yep. Hmm. Uh, and he's a tiefling. Yep. Thank you. Um, tiefling. My capital caps lock. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, a, a large-ish Phelan uh, uh, looks around. I am Flynn Swiftpaw, and <laughs> let's hope this journey won't require any epics written about it. A, um, a nice, if this happens to be a nice, easy journey, I will not complain. How about a lullaby, then? <laughs> oh, isn't that what you normally write? Already. Could you type your, Joe, type in your name and okay. Yeah. He might be a little bit critical of the arts. Just a bit. Oh yeah, he's carrying a recurve longbow and a club. As well as um you notice he's got several sets of irons of arm and leg irons hanging from his belt. What what are you? Uh, feeling cat person. Thank you. <laughs> Specifically, links. Yes, links. Next time. Yeah. Um, link to what? Uh, Between cat and people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I am Gron Iron Hands. I am a devout follower of Moses, uh, the crafting god. And I'm just, well, I want to make sure that my fellow brothers make it back to their homeland. So you're a dwarf? Yes. And what, what was your name again? Iron hands. Okay. I'm gonna start stop again. My uh 
the the cat likes jumping on my lap, which has the keyboard that then hits some <laughs> button, causes something to go wrong, and I'm not seeing my overlay. Um, doesn't oh. mean it's not there. I'm just not seeing. Probably somehow visible enough. Ah. Okay, I I see it back. I think it actually was there. It just what it was like recording, but not showing. But whenever that ah. happens, I always think that it's not recording. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes. Then we have Gron Iron Hands. Yep. <sighs> Otherwise, he. I mean, he's he's wearing quilted. The. the... Best armor one can afford when you're young ish. He yeah. probably has a couple of anvil symbols. Yeah. I did yeah, I was looking for that in the book, whether or not there were holy symbols or not. I, I don't have them listed yet. Basically I just uh added what mystical abilities they allow their clergy to get and then after that I still need to Digging deeper. He Cross probably has text. them actually sewn into his armor over his uh, heart. Crossed blacksmith's hammers? Oh, it would be more of an anvil. Uh. So that, you are the four guards. So first, first day passes uneventfully. Gron, are you more of a melee person? Um, I'm a cleric of Phosis, so I've trained both martial and I've learned a little bit of casting. It's really not going to be useful in a fight, though. Might help us with a river. A river? Yeah. Yeah. I make things float. Ah. Yeah, he was probably looking kind of nervous across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves aren't really known for oh, swimming. Uh, during oh, our yeah. first stop, Lehman, I'm going to look for a, a decent-sized piece of wood that I can start to whittle. Okay. Because I am going to want to make something <laughs> that might let me float. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the second day. The second day gets you about there. And again, it's a nice, cool September, middle of September day. Birds are, are chirping and, and happy that a strange new spring has, has come after the uh, unnatural winter had, had set in. Do we want to set up some sort of uh, patrol uh, order uh, since there's four of us, one at the front, one at the back, one on each side? Um, do we want to set up um, evening guard shifts. Yeah, hey man, that sounds awesome. That would be a very good idea. So, so do do any of you fight hand to hand, or I noticed you all have missile weapons. Um. Uh, I can fight hand to hand, or I can uh, fight ranged. I prefer. Yeah, really think of myself more as a lover than a fighter, but uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I got a knife for up close, but I'm not real good at it. Okay. I take that back. I'm exactly as good at stabbing things with a knife as I am at shooting them with a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did you take back that you're not that good at it, or did you just reevaluate? No, how no, I'm good not going to take that back. Yeah. Uh, Truth hurts uh, sometimes. Yeah, I, I might be able to do some things up close. I say I kind of 
like casually pop my claws and uh, you know out in the end a couple times. Prefer ranged weapons. I can fight hand to hand, but well, so is I prefer not to. I'm saving up for some armor. I'd rather not get into melee. So is this willing? I can hold back whatever tight yeah. toes by myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was a cute little kitty. Yes, he was. <laughs> and Flynn doesn't know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't quite catch that. He, he was talking to his cat and he said, you're a cute little kitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If only the fur blushed. <laughs> I have a little torty in my arms. Aw. Let's see. Where are my fuzzballs? Okay, there's, there's one in a chair over there. Wow. Okay, and the other two are being very quiet somewhere, which is worrisome. <laughs> yeah. A quiet kitty is either sleeping or up to no good. Well, if you want somebody to go at the head of the caravan, uh, it should probably be one of you bow type. Well, I'll I'm go. A, well, I, I make the assumption that you shoot things far away because you can see things. Is that a truth? <laughs> I guess I'll take the lead. Okay. Yep. I'll stay about mid-caravan most of the time so that I can run to whichever side I need to. Um, you want to be one right side or left side? I'll be left. Okay. Let's see. Um, doesn't matter where I am since... I've got the bow so I can help, you know, I, I can take the rear of the caravan and then, uh, you know, we'll keep watch there and I can shoot to either side if necessary. Okay, so then, Orexius, right, I guess? Yep. Sure. You're you you're walking around the middle of the caravan on the right side of it. I'm on the left side of it. That's that's our walking order. And then did you have did you say you wanted to do like uh watches? Yes. Yep. Can all of us see in the dark? I can see in the dark. I as can I. Let's see. Uh, wow. I'm trying to so, think. I can take one of the later night shifts when it's darker. So it doesn't look like Felon can see in the dark unless you have something special. But yeah. you do get a bonus to perception. Yep. So, uh, putting. Uh, Flynn on first watch. I'll take second. Okay. I guess I'll be third. Okay. okay. No. Okay, so the second day, as I said, passes, and the night also seems to go uneventful. Okay. Right. You travel most of the day, and I need everybody to give perception. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, 
No, go away. I don't think that's going to convince them to leave. No. Aha. Rexus's perception is as good as the legendary dagger and Sir Emery got Chester. <laughs> yeah. uh. So the the uh, caravan is is going down an old kind of ruined co cobblestone, large stone path that once was probably a, a highway a couple of centuries previous, overgrown, and uh, to the north is a, a hilly forest. None of you see. Go on. There's nothing wrong here. The. Of course. Um, well, I okay, saw something that said loading ambush. <laughs> ah. Weak. No. Go away. The orcs rush out from the... Oops! Woods. Squeak! Lovely. You've got this, Rexus, right? Sorry. Got who? I don't see anybody. Now you do. The, uh, the perception was to see if you would be able to do an initiative before they come out. Okay. And nobody saw it. Yeah. We're not a very perceptive group. Okay. I do honestly not actually see any dudes, any dudes on the back. You north of north of you? Straight up for me. Nope. I can see up to here. Oh. I see some woods up there. Maybe you're not maybe you're not set to have eyes. What? Vision. Um, there's ten yeah, guys. But I can't there. see into the. I mean, I can't see into the woods. They're no. not in the woods. They're between you and the woods. Oh yeah, I see no dudes between me and the woods. Do you see where I just pinged? Yep, I do see where you're tapping. Th there's a guy right next to it. Nope, no, there is not. Oh, you're a liar, sir. Hit F5. See if you can refresh. Did that help or not? I'm thinking. Uh, it's loading, loading. Oh shit! Hey, look, guys, there's some dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Which, uh, to to your role, that probably was very close to what happened in game. <laughs> oh jeez. They're like, hey, there's some dudes coming. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah that's dudes I, coming. What? Yeah, that's I, that's on your side of the caravan. And I'm like, hey guys, there's some dudes coming. Okay, so everybody put yourself into the combat tracker. Oh, come on. Um, there it is says... no active combat encounter. No. Okay, there we go. Now it's active. Bop it up. Bop it up. Uh, that's, a, that's a large combat track. Yes. 
Okay. That's a lot of orcs. So, order of combat. The first thing, everybody chooses a stance. Mm -hmm. So you can choose your stance. My stance is chosen. Make sure that it is green and none of the other stances are. And once you do that, oh. you can oh. roll initiative. That is not the die symbol in the combat tracker. That is either the initiative macro or the initiative on your screen. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was all my rolls at one time. The macro. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Do should did I need to create more stances or something? Um, because I have stance none that I can turn on, or maybe I could just do. On the combat, you have hand to hand general. I see. And throne combat rogue. They they just are in different places because they af sometimes affect different things. That's why. So did everybody? Uh... Oh, what do I say? Every everybody rolled initiative. Oh, I haven't yet. So uh, even though you were like the last person to notice, you, uh, why why don't you? I need to put a stance on. I think I'm gonna do. Oh, you didn't have a, you didn't have a stance. That's why. I, I, I was playing around with them because I don't seem to have a range. So, I have a weapon proficiency. Do I have to have? A, I guess I have to have the other thing too. Yep. Well, although I'm trying to figure out why you have three. Oh, is that what throne? Okay, yeah, Th throne starts off. Oh, that okay? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got a lot of, I can throw a lot of knives. <laughs> yep. Okay, so it is your first. First. Turn. Uh, that is, that is really awesome. Oh, yeah, ranged combat general. I did not notice that. All right. And there should also be a throne combat. Yes. A skill, I, he does have throne that combat. A skill that I should have taken but didn't. Okay. If you wish to swap it out since you haven't played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll swap it out with a random thing. Um, uh. What's the range on throwing a knife? Jeez. Oh, oh let me... Equipment. And my equipment, I have a knife, and I have another knife. Tw uh, 60 feet. Okay, so let's measure this sucker out. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, you know what? I will try to hurl the knife and then uh, kind of run back behind a horse here. Because <laughs> that's the thing I'm going to do. Did you give yourself an aura or what was that? I think I accidentally did that. That's, huh. That was not a thing I really intended to do. Is that gonna I don't know how to turn that off. I think you uh, maybe did a... Yeah, you, you cast a spell. <laughs> I did? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, the thing that looks like a uh, a right square, you know, measuring thing, that is actually for spell templates or okay, okay. effect templates. All right. He's going to hurl a knife at that uh, chick with the mohawk. Does the 12 hit, hit that chick with the mohawk? 
And it's going to hit armor. And roll for that. Roll for damage. Good thing I got this awesome dagger. It does, it does a point. And he's going to hide behind a horse. And then you can move the turn order. Yelling. I'm going to swing at one of these dwarves. They are wearing what looks to be something equivalent to chain armor and carrying pole arms. Gron. Yeah, this doesn't look overwhelming at all. I still don't know how to turn it. It's the space bar. I thought that made you follow it. No, it it will. It's only when you let off. Oh, I needed to hold the space bar. Gotcha. That's fine. <laughs> How come it's not doing the thing where it tells me how much I moved? I see your numbers. Yeah, but it should have added what it what did. what I moved previously. Not sure. I think I get to there roughly, and that's my movement. Okay, so you should still be able to attack that orc if you okay. wish. <laughs> nope. Yeah, that that I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> that is a complete not even a hit off of armor. Yep. I was a little tired when I got there. <laughs> uh Katunk. Okay. I'm shooting this one right here. Okay. Du -du -du -du. That is going to hit. Okay, so that, since it is your first attack, 
of the round, or the, the combat, sorry, uh, you do double that in damage. Okay. Hopefully that kills him. Nope. Ooh. It did hurt him pretty pretty much. And I'm going to move. Where is our movement? It's on the combat tab. It says movement feet per round. On the on the combat tab? On the combat tab values to share. Oh, okay. Um, feet per round, okay. Flynn. Okay. I have my trusty recurve bow out. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh. I'm going to target the guy who got too who got too close. Let's see. All right, I'm going to move a little bit so I can get a clearer shot on him. Okay. All right. Okay. No. Damn it! I need I need to make sure to switch off the targeting thing when I want to actually move something. All right, move there, and then I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> not even close. Yeah, that's a that's not even hitting armor. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Yay. Okay. Uh, he might not have even noticed that I shot at him. So you see this uh, this orc here ran up and hit the dwarf, and wounded the dwarf, and then immediately flipped the uh, the pole arm around and hit him again. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, orcs have skills. And they all have two attacks. Two immediate attacks, though. That's a big deal. Yep. I was gonna say this one didn't have this one didn't attack twice, and I know it didn't. Yeah.
Of that one. It's a dwarf. I when. Oh boy. That is going to hit Flynn. Oh, I don't have anything I can auto pair you with, and I can't auto dodge, so I'm going to eat this one. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that bad. This uh, female orc comes running and then stops, and she looks at this dwarf here. And you see the uh, the dwarf clutch his chest. It doesn't. He he doesn't look like he took any damage outwardly, but he looking like he's in a lot of pain. Okay, Rexius. Okay, Rexius is gonna hurl another dagger at the uh, at the at that uh, chick with the mohawk. Okay. And he closed down his character sheet because he's a dummy. That's going to hit armor. Sweet. And probably not even hurt it. Uh, correct. It does not hurt the armor. 
If you're yeah. not going to do, if you don't have any movement left. Can... Okay, that is this one. Try to attack the dwarf because all the dwarfs that matter to him. That is going to hit armor. And bounce off. These are your, they, they are not fighter dwarves, but they are dwarves in armor. <laughs> that looks to be probably like a uh, scale or splint, something mm -hmm. along that. Uh, Katunk. Shoot at the same one I shot before. Uh, that is going to hit. He is wounded. That didn't kill him? Oh, sorry, that was your second shot, so that is double. Barely. Took a couple of steps forward. Collapse. I mean, that was an awful lot of damage. Well, yeah, and the, and they are very trained orcs. Yeah. So if that is all for you, you can... Yeah. Okay. So this orc is going to attack that dwarf. That is This work cannot move any farther. Work here will attack the dwarf. Going to hit armor. Do damage. Okay, this is the orc that attacked Flynn. Okay. Hit Flynn. Okay. wounded. Yep. And he swings around and follows through with another attack. Ooh. Flynn is not looking. 
Yep. That one can't do anything. So the uh, female orc looks at another, or looks more intently at that dwarf, but it doesn't make anything happen. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> that uh -huh. orc can't move. This orc can't move either. So Rexius. All right, Rexius. I'm gonna reach down to the ground, pick up a rock, and throw it at the at the uh, guy with the with mohawk. Okay. Because he's out of knives. Right. Ooh. Yeah, since you don't get a that that hits. Sweet. Uh. Oh. Roll 1d6. I just took away the bonus for that. Oh, yep, I see it. Okay. Aha! Take that! And then... I think that's it. So... There is no... A rare fight with no spell effects going down. Um, so we will switch. If anybody wishes to switch stances, uh, do so now. I does wish to change my stance. Change my stance. Keep changing it. Yep. Yeah. Switching from my um, bow to my club since I have a feeling I might need that. But I don't press initiative again or anything. I just wait and wait, wait just... for for now. Just you're switching stances. That's the main thing now. Uh, is anyone not in a stance? Uh, turn. Everybody go ahead and roll initiative while I get all of these guys clicked. I hope. <laughs> I find that. What? Very, I, I oh, just okay. find that very humorous. Okay. Oh, a lot of dwarves going first. What? That not have. See, the orcs are all. Yeah, this, well, orcs are shitty. Um, but I mean, they. And these had, dwarves are awesome. They had different numbers. No, that's not right. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, round two. So the one dwarf. Okay, so this dwarf is going to try to hit the orc. And is going to Rexius. All right, whipping out a crossbow now. Firing a shot. That's going to hit Not armor. feeling good about that shot. And then uh, he's going to spend all the rest of his time reloading the crossbow. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, he does hit? Yeah, five hits armor. All right. No, oh, that's probably a little bit of damage to armor. Uh, two points. Now is is Mohawk gal also wearing chainmail? No, she looks to be wearing reinforced leather. Cool. All right. And I did do a few points of damage to her earlier, right? Right with a rock. Correct, you did. Katunk. Okay. Whoop. Whoa! Oh, there it is. There's that little little bit that came off. That sucks. <laughs> Katunk just <laughs> ran away. Went off the map. Okay, so you you, you moved. That is your turn. And, oh, I can't. Yeah, I, I forgot. If if you are in a ranged or thrown stance, you can either attack or move, not both. That's oh. the drawback of of those. Okay. In that case, I'll stay where I'm at. I had forgot that, but yes, that that's why you get more attacks than hand to hand people. Because you either okay. have, you can only attack or move, not both. I am going to shoot her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't. I don't think you have a clear line of sight. What? You you go right through an orc there. I'm not sure if you can see my line that I'm drawing. Yeah, I, I can see it, but there's an orc right here. Okay, in that case, I'm going to shoot that guy right there. Okay, that hits. And you are uh, in the second round, so that does not get the uh, sniper damage. But, still... but it should still hurt him. Yeah, it's still the damage. Pretty hard. Armor. Two points. Thank you. 
Oh, that's going to completely... Armor. This guy's gonna run up and attack the orc that hurt Du Flynn. Completely missed. Armor again. Dwarf, attack him. Flynn doesn't look like he's doing much. Or doesn't see you as a problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it can help in a, in a way. Yeah. Yep. Since he's not completely wrong. That's actually going to take the work. Work. And up. Orc is wounded. I guess I thought I had learned my lesson for uh, not having a hundred different combatants, and then I forgot that lesson. <laughs> Oh, there, there is a nice crit on the orc up by Gron. That orc seems a little tougher. Horse being small can really.
Barely. Okay. Oh, well, that makes it easy. <laughs> Apparently, if I uh, click on the token in the combat tracker, it just takes me right to that orc or that person <laughs> instead of me having to hunt like I have been. Well, that just speeded up things fast. You find out something new every day. It does the highlight <laughs> thing, like in Roll20. On the combat tracker, and that's what I had been using, but apparently, click it, goes right to them. Okay, so a little bit faster. Armor. I'm not going to. Okay. Wharf. The dwarf uh, clutches his chest. Falls down. Armored in work. And Flynn. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm going to thwack the one that thwacked me. I think I have the correct one targeted. One who's right next to me. That one there. Uh, uh, the one I've got targeted is the one right here. That is oh, a dwarf. That is a dwarf. Then, oh, I need <laughs> to zoom in. I need to zoom in a little further then. Okay, so now I'm targeting this orc. Yeah, they, they were the, the doors that came to help you. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah, I'm taking a swing at that guy. All right, okay, so I have to hit that. Nope. That's going to uh, hit armor. Okay. I guess I can roll damage, see if it'll do anything. Probably won't. Nope. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, you're you're a little Oh wheezy. Yeah. Yep. W wavering there. Yep. <sighs> yep. All right. Next. Gron. So, to the four dwarves around me, I'm going to say, two of you go help at the back, two of you come with me, we gotta take out this sorceress. And I will run to the sorceress and get ready to clutch my heart. <laughs> that would hit armor.
That does a couple points of armor. armor. Do you wish to try to parry? Flynn. Yes, I do indeed wish to try the parry. All right. Oh, come on. That's not going to parry. Nope. Do you have a second? Nope. Uh, nope. Okay. You yeah. have visions of Cassius in you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see. Yep. You're not dead, are you? Um, not dead, but not conscious. Ooh. Katunk. Take another shot at the same one I shot before. Okay. That's going to hit armor. Oh, crap. That will do armor damage. Can pass. Yep. Or tax orc armor. Oh, that the wrong way. Orc attacking the dwarf. Not It's the armor. Does no damage. Okay, a uh, target just presented it. Hmm. So, a uh, Gron. Roll a say, say versus Psychic. Oh no! Oh boy. Yeah. Nope. 
you are wounded as you feel your heart stop. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you can all switch stances if you wish. Um, let's see. Um, you can switch to no stance. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I, I think I'm going to be in the prone but barely prone but breathing stance. <laughs> there there actually is a no stance. Yeah. yeah. But um okay, so everybody is switched or stayed in stances, then we can roll initiative. There we go. That's the first time Rexius didn't roll really high. This dwarf will come up here. And that is going to hit. Oh, here, sorry. Completely. That dwarf was able to connect. Nice. Rock! Keep fighting, men!
that dwarf critted. That dwarf took out the orc. Leave. Oh, wait. Point of armor. Orc. Uh, she looks at Gron again, but you don't feel anything. This dwarf got critted in wood. Or plenty of wood. And this dwarf crits the orc. Gron. Well, what seemed hopeless before seems so much better now that I'm wounded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try to hit her. Nope. Pound on my chest a little bit to make it beat more steadily. <laughs> Oh, well, that's cool. That 
Fork. Katunk. All right, I am. Going to move. Okay. Rexius. Rexius is gonna, gonna try to shoot this uh, orc straight across on him. He's gonna shoot. Like that one? Yep. Okay. I mean, it's the one he's got a line of sight on, so. Here it comes like his awesome. Either yeah. un under or probably under the, the horse's legs. Yeah, probably <laughs> under the horse. Where he's cowering. Wow. Oh, baby! We're going to do this. That is going to hit. It's badass. But does not roll particularly well for the damage. Yeah, it's still... Yeah, your story will tell a different tale. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's going to be an awesome song. So you can... Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting the push that button. Just a little armor damage. No, it's surviving this go through that that's rough. Okay. He's going to run away. Katunk. Well, since I moved, I can't do anything else, correct? You you have an attack, so you can move or shoot. Oh, so I can't... Each turn, each one of your actions, you have the choice uh, to move or shoot. I'm going to shoot her. Okay.
that is going to hit. Damage. Just a little? Yep. A little. You can pass it along. Yep. Okay, we are at the end of a turn, so if, or sorry, end of the round. If anybody wishes to change stances, switch weapons, uh, you can do that now. And then you can roll initiative. Crap. Really, nobody got higher than a four. Well, certainly not me. You you did twice. You were one of the I very did. first ones. <laughs> yep. It's like a whole bunch of dwarves we had. How effective they are when added. Just can't get. Oh, is she running off? Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm I'm down with that. Hopefully, the rest of them will turn and run too. Uh, I shot her once. Yeah, well, I hit her with a rock. <laughs> no, stop. Orc and dwarf back and the armor wounding, etc.
Rexius. All right. Here comes another crossbow shot. Dun, 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 dun. That's going to hit. Me. <gasps> that was an interesting sound. <laughs> that means I almost got one. I thought I am. Very, very, very close. <laughs> you wounded him. You're going to pass it along. <laughs> Are you just gonna just gonna hey no. hold up hold up well, I I guys, got I got a song did everybody see that <laughs> did everybody see what I just did there that was awesome no. You're next. Oh, no, no, that's bad. That's super bad. Mm. So that orc finished off that dude right yep. there and then came over to me. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. He didn't like getting skewered with a crossbow bolt. Katunk. Shooting her again. That will hit. She disappeared into the trees? Yes. That dwarf came up and hit the orc in the back, but fortunately it hit armor. Gron. Yeah, the horse is like, you know, the horse isn't just there, it's rearing up and taking everything that the cart driver can to 
keep it bolting. You are big kitty. What is your problem, huh? What is your problem? Yeah, I don't want to be in front of the horse. It, it, just... it actually did show the the total. It did that time. I think the difference was I was on a ruler last time. Ah, okay. And then hit the space bar to follow the ruler. Okay. That's my movement, so let me attempt to at least distract it from the flashy clothed Rexus. Nope. Wow. I've had low rolls all night, and it doesn't help that I'm at negatives now. <laughs> right. But even like without that. Oh yeah, I, that's <laughs> more multiple times that I have totally missed because my rolls just aren't there. And battle has been going a little bit, so you notice that when these dwarves start actually like looking pretty bloodied and wounded, it looks like they're fighting harder. Not necessarily more effectively, <laughs> but they're like going frenzy or berserk or some something. Uh -oh. Hopefully you can take at least one hit, Rex. I don't think Rexius has any attack action left, does he? He does not. Okay. Have cheated. You have cheated. I have. Yes. <laughs> you Wait, gave. How have I cheated? You you gave yourself a minimum value of of your uh, shock points equal to your max value. <laughs> yes, that is how. Yep. So I will never go below my maximum. <laughs> That's Sorry, uh, I don't make the rules, guys. You are wounded. Yep. I figured out your your tricky tricky. Katunk. Okay. I'm going to shoot that one right there. Okay. 
That will hit. Kill him. That takes him out. Squeak. So you want to pass it? Yeah, cat was sitting on the mouse. But you would in fact Megan Keene. Okay, so we are at the the end of another round. Okay. You can all do your uh any weapon switching, any combat stance switching. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do initiative. Oh, good grief. Okay, we'll move to the next. Can I come back? Oh, uh, bummer. The dude in front of me is going to go before me. Goes before all of us.
this dwarf here almost dead just took that orc next to him's head off with a crit. Nice. Oh, that is damage. Gron. Oh. I am. Here you go. Here you go, Bob. <laughs> the one chance. If I Help can me, roll, Gron. You're my if, only hope. If I can roll something above a <laughs> two. Ah, I hit his armor. You hit his armor. <laughs> I made him aware that I'm here. Did a point to his armor. Yeah. Now it's his turn. Ba, ba, ba. High or low? Um, I can't. I think I'll be high. Okay, he turns around and swings at Gron. Yay, so I can fall instead of you. You're welcome. <laughs> do you wish to uh, parry? I do parry? wish I, I I do wish to. It's not really likely. <laughs> wow. Yep, you're right. It was not likely. Yeah, result of zero isn't good. No. <sighs> Flynn could do that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I have a feeling I've just joined you, Flynn. Nope. Oh, he rolled really <laughs> shitty he on damage. He rolled really, really bad, yes. Like, almost... Come on, Dwarven brother! <laughs> Take him out. You guys are better than we are. Rexius. All right. Rexius, because um, he doesn't, because he lost his knives already. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's, he's, he's dropped his crossbow. He's going to clench his, his two hands together in the Captain Kirk double fist thing and <laughs> smack him on the back of the head. And here comes. That's going to hit him. Oh, here it comes. Oh, shit. I did not change the thing to oh, you 1D6 instead of 1S. Sorry. Hmm. 
Is two points enough? <laughs> I I was hoping, but no. no. So <laughs> close. So close. <laughs> it would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have. <laughs> Oh, and I gotta push that button. Yep. Okay. So that's the dwarf that's right there. No, he's do armor. Katunk. Oh, decisions, decisions. Can I see that one right there? Do I have... Which one? This one right here, over by Flynn. Do I have a line of sight? Uh oh Yeah. That'll work. All right. I would like to try and shoot the one that's running away, but she's gone. He's talking about. Something. No, there is another one that. Oh, there's an it? there's another one that's running, but that group in there appears to need some help. Oh, that's gonna hit. That helps a little. Move it along. That. I soften them up for you. And Katunk. Well, that dwarf just moved in and blocked off my shot. You can always go through allies. Uh, um, I'm going to shoot the guy that's running. Okay. Or not. That's going to hit some armor. So go ahead and uh, you can switch stances if you want. And switch weapons. Then roll.
Yeah. Katunk. All right. You're up at the top. Shooting at the guy that's running. Jeez. Oh, that is complete. Yeah. I should have ran, but he... Okay, I think that takes care of all of the orcs that have not bled. One normal orc and uh, the sorceress was able to flee. Do I still have line of sight to that guy? Do you or see is him? He... If you see him, you can you can. I see him. Then okay, hold on. We will going then. Gron? I don't see anybody, so I'm just going to move out and try to assess the situation, basically. Okay. Rexius. Uh, Rexius. Gonna come out to here. It's gonna go look. So, like, there are no more targets to shoot at that I can see. So, he's gonna go, you know, look for those knives that he threw out here. Okay. And crossbow bolts and stuff. He's gotta collect shit up because he fired a few shots. Because that, that stuff is expensive. The, especially those knives. They are very expensive. Okay. You are out doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm out. You can pass it along. Yeah, I suppose. Tunk shoot. Uh, that's going to hit armor. Okay. Come 
Okay, we're at the another end of the round. So anybody who wishes to uh, switch stances. Which weapons may do so? No, get out of there. And then you can roll initiative. Oh, darn. The orcs going before me. Gron? You still kind of... Um, there is various... Uh, Dwarves that probably right. could use. I don't have any medical, medical skill, uh -huh. but I I'll attempt to help people. Okay. I I mean I I don't actually have the ability to to heal anybody. You, I mean you don't have first aid or no. what med medical what whatever it is. No. Unfortunately, not. I think my wizard does. Not drawn. He's a craftsman. He'll he'll try to. Oh, that's an orc. I'm sorry. Uh, give me a second. I headed towards that door. <laughs> okay. Looks like he is out of your sight now, correct? Yep. Okay. So, in the aftermath of failed uh, orc ambush, I'm just going to move tokens so I can... What size are orcs? Orcs are medium. Medium? So the orcs, you're not having like a cloud of slumber and other nasty things like you normally have when you're trying to quickly end someone 
and you're actually able to dispatch them without much uh, difficulty. So there's one, Can two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight. So they would be equivalent to medium suits of chain. Anybody wants that, they count as heavy armor. What is the what is a dwarf considered? Are they medium or are they small? They're small. Okay. Um, well, collect collect the armor and anything else that the orcs might have on them that we could potentially sell or. Like like I said, there are eight suits of right. various chain, and uh, that would also be eight full arms. Um, uh, there is about three dwarves who went into the three of these healthy dwarves over here that had went into the uh, the woods chasing the uh, uh -huh. orcs. They did not catch the orcs, but they do say there is a strange structure in the woods. A Rexius, you can roll a d6 for each of your uh, items. You don't want to roll a 1 or 6. I need to roll for arrows? Yes. Roll a d6 for each arrow. You do not want to roll a 1 or a 6. Okay. Uh, one, it is lost. A six, it was broke. Yeah. A six, it is broke. Yeah. I mean, you hit okay. a, you hit some armor. You hit, right. you know, some trees or. How many rounds did we do all together? Uh, we are on round seven. So. And you had not acted this round, so you had. Right. At one time, it, it, you you moved. Right. So it looks like Rexius got his two daggers and his bolt back. Badass! I'm gonna add him back on. Any chance any of these orcs also had knives? No, they did not have knives. Shit. Did any of the dead, any of the dwarves that died have knives? Actually, I don't think any of the dwarves actually died. They can. Okay. They're all, I think they're all knocked out. Yeah, they along with Flynn were uh, just knocked out. Out. So, um, I'll take one of the suits of chain to when I feel better, I'll start modifying it. Okay. Right now I am negative on all my percentile skills, I believe. Rexus would also like to claim one of those chain nails, I think. Okay. Even though he's going to be pretty shiny wearing it. I don't think it's actually going to take him into a I mean, aside from slowing them down. Lehman? I yes. I had four broken arrows. I didn't lose any. But you have uh, four did break. So I'm going to keep them. I mean, maybe somebody can use the arrowheads or whatever to help make new ones. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end the combat. Taken out of combat. Um, so, like I said, there were, uh, there were, I want to say maybe like two, one, two. Uh, there was one suit of chain that, uh, was not hurt. So I guess that would be the one Rexius wants. Yeah. Well, I thought uh, Ron said he wanted some chain too, right? Yeah, but I have to wait until I can make it fit me. Oh, so right. If, well, you can put, if you're going to put it on now, then that's fine. I'll take one of the ones that's... Is there one that has little damage? Yeah, there is one that... Uh, let's see. Oh, there there were at least two that were full. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I gotta wait until I'm healed so that I can actually make it fit me. No shields, I'm guessing. Uh, no, they they were carrying full arm. I'm interested in checking out that building. I'm not. I we have to get these. These people are wounded. We have to get them out of here. Well, there, like uh, some of the merchants and other dwarves, you know, they, they gather them. They're kind of there. There is going to be time as they're bandaging them. It's not like a the the dwarves that had went into the forest do notice or did notice. You know, there was no second wave or counter attack or anything. So the uh, the three uninjured dwarves. Are kind of like out here guarding the. Uh, I guess there's another one, a fourth one. Oh, they somehow flipped upside down. Um, these the wounded dwarfs are kind of taking time to bandage, you know, their own wounds as well as those who fell. Right, and three of us are wounded and you're fine, so if you want to look in there by yourself, I mean... I'll see if... Do any of the dwarves want to go with me to check out the building? It seems a little hazardous I mean, right now. Yeah, I am super interested in this building. I'm like, like really, really interested in this thing. But maybe we should come back another time. Well, that's not like what we're here for, you know. I, I know we'll have time while we get things going, but we're not in the best shape to go in there, even if there isn't another wave of orcs coming. I heard this story about a guy getting bit by a spider and almost dying. There. I'm going to go check it out real quick. Okay, so you can traverse around in the woods. Ah, damn it. I guess I gotta go too then because I don't want to just like miss out. So, Rexius, I gave, I put, um, chain, chain armor, a uh, chain armor on oh, you. Oh, did you? So, on your, your main page, we'll show your, your SDC. And yep. then if you look where it says variables, armor rating. Hurry up. So when you yep. go when you go down to eighteen points, your armor rating will change. Got it. Okay. But it is heavy, so uh I'll pick I'll pick it. Toggle on your uh tier two heavy armor. I will do that. Oops. 
and you you come across a pyramid and i'll show you it it is not a normal looking pyramid it um is more it's like taller than its base it's not this big okay. it's it's about half this size but i wanted you to kind of see how right. it's, it's, yeah so it's it's only about half the size there um seems right here in the middle of the front there uh -huh. seems to be a a door and around it is strange carving. It looks like maybe some type of script. Around the door or around the pyramid? Around the door frame. Okay. Um, uh, you, you would have no... Neither of you can, can read it at all. Um, I did move up, but I don't. Let me look at... Rexy's stuff. Some history. I got some other shit. The I know I hit the priestess. Um, is there any blood or anything like that? Um, well, she was yeah. never wounded. I hit her. You yeah. hit her. You never wounded her. She was hit, but she never got out of shock points. Correct. <laughs> we don't we don't want to mess with her. Rexius. Um, somehow being wounded and having a negative twenty, you still come to the realization that this is probably some type of magic writing. All right. And it would require somebody who could uh, decrypt it or read magic or something like that. All right. That's groovy. But no, no one in your group will be able to do anything. Magic Mountain. Leaving? Yes. Do a quick walk around of it and okay. um you know if I don't see anything else I'll say let's head back to the caravan. Yeah, you you don't see anything else. It is the one door that has some type of magic writing. At least that's what Rexius says. Okay. I'm going to activate us and move us back. So this is where you were. If anybody wants to do anything there. I don't think we can with the token there. You should be able to make a journal note if, if anybody wishes to. Do you re right click on the map to do that, or you go to uh, the journal tab and create journal entry? Gotcha. Once you fill it out, you'll get a little thing that appears, and then you move it to where you wish to. If you click on the journal tab, uh, we don't all need to be doing it because it'll be there for everybody. So if you're, okay. I, I've got, I'm going to put a marker on there. Strange pyramid. Need magic user. Yeah, look, it's pretty awesome. So it takes you three days to get, three more days to get to Winter Haven. Um, in those three days, anybody that is wounded 
will sure. gain half of their healing base round down back for the first two days, and then their full uh, heal base back on the last day. I'm sorry, I was riding, so I didn't listen to everything you said. What was that? It takes three days to get to Winter Haven. So the first okay. two days are half your heal base, round down. Okay. And then the third day is your full heal base. So I think uh, Flynn probably is conscious now. Or yeah. not con Well, yeah, we'll, we'll say that he's conscious because we're not, you're not trying to uh, get out of a coma in the middle of combat. Yeah. That do you have to heal up all the hit points first and then shock points come back? Or... Yes, yes, you yeah. heal. Oh, really? Okay. Hit points first and then shock points. Yep. Is that roughly where it was at? Can you see it yet, Eamon? No. Okay. It's a picture of a book. How do I get a map icon instead? Can you move that book around? Um. Normally, you just after it's a book, then you move it and it comes. Okay. okay. Yes. There, there, there you go. Okay. So was that close? It was the other side of the road. I can move it. Yep, right there. Then two more oh. days to get to Krazak Tor. Heal base is on combat page. Yes. So that is two, much, two more heal bases. How much do arrows cost? Uh they're in the in the book. Uh for some reason pages sixty nine, seventy, and seventy one aren't coming up. It's on page 75. Uh. So two more heal bases, and then... They spend a day, and the uh, the dwarven people uh, they go back, or they stay. So you don't have the dwarves. Kind of, you and the merchants are very skittish. Um, did wounded come off automatically when my hit points went up? Nope. So if that's on the combat page, I guess. Yeah, I see it. And then it takes you nine days to get back. So nine times your heal base. Nice. So did every everybody get? That. Yep. Is Nine times no days. I was fully healed on the way up. I was not. So let's see. It was one, two, six. It should be thirteen. Nine. Thirteen full ones and two half ones. I assume. You, a after the uh, you're you're talking heal base. I'm talking about days since you left. Oh, now, days. yeah. So third day you got to the the ambush. Three days past that. Seven seven days from Winter Haven to Krasak Tor and back. So the 
total the total trip round trip was 19 days and you did miss the uh the autumn equinox which is a big festival because of that and because of your brave fighting skills everybody would gain a two 250 solidi yeah what about selling the extra armor and weapons where would you try to sell them where would we probably get the best price do you have like uh, recognize weapon quality, anything like that as a skill. Let's see. Because you're not a merchant. No. So. I do not. I've got area knowledge. Does anybody else have? Appropriate skill. None of those are merchants. I've got some barter skills, but uh maybe we could do uh you know like a maybe we could use that board. We could uh, write up like a you know, hey cheap armor for sale. Cheap armor and weapons for sale? Well, how do we know they're cheap? Uh, we set the price. We can make Wait. it nice and cheap. We can find ourselves a nice deal. Basically, you not being merchants, you, you're you selling it as scrap. There's no weaponsmith or place that is going to sell unknown armor. Especially See, stuff this... that, that looks like it was made by orcs. This is exactly why we go straight to the buyers. We gotta like you know set up a you know just just uh, you know post up there where you know we have some weapons and uh, and armor to sell, and then uh, you know see who talks to us. Maybe we can find you know make a deal with somebody. Well, would the dwarves be interested in it? You know, no. as I I can tell you this: this is poor craftsmanship. I can't afford armor, so I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to whittle it down so that I can at least wear it. But it is not dwarven quality. Like I said, this will be scrap. Or scrap for the six suits of armor that were not claimed and the uh, normal size pole arms you total could get 540 I'm okay with that yeah that's fine by me wish to divide that by four that would be a hundred thirty four the uh, the merchants in no way shape or form argue which is very unlike them, because even going back into Fallcrest, they argue again with the the toll booth guards. Well, how much again was the was was our was our uh, rate for getting ring that was two hundred or two fifty? Two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. So if if you do a split. An even split for what you sold and what you gained, it's 385 solid. Which would be about 25 pounds of copper. Not bad. 24 pounds.
So, um, yes, the uh, the rest of the trip remained uneventful when you did get back to where the uh, the pyramids area where the ambush was on the road. Um, the orc bodies were no longer there, but there was no second ambush. And we will go ahead and stop there for the night. Turn off recording.